okay guys for the next DIY you will need one of those Dollar Tree frames that one I found in the trash that's why it's it's smashed I'm gonna take it out of there without cutting myself <laughs> hopefully nothing else is broken I will not need this, but I use it for a different DIY. Okay, get this glass out. Okay guys, <clears throat> you will need a frame like this, three of those um, wooden spoons, mine are a little older, they were used, but you can find them at Dollar Tree, each for a dollar, or you can go to Walmart and get a better deal, you get three for a dollar, and also any background you want, I, I choose to use this background, I love um, checkerboards, gingham. Okay. We will cut it to size. We will not need a glass for that one. I don't I don't like the shiny part. Okay, we got this side. Now we need the other side. The other side is not bad. we're gonna mud potch it on there. I got so much mud potch. I didn't use it for a while, so. Just, and you have to let it dry. Usually put something heavy on top of it. Paint the frame white. I cannot close this. We have to fix it up. 
Okay, let me put that on the side. <clears throat> I got my Waverly chalk paint. <clears throat> and we will color the frame white. Paint, not color. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure somebody else had the same idea or made a video already or I don't know I saw a picture on Instagram I mean it was different I'm gonna make it my style what I like But I had so many wooden spoons and I was like, oh, do some crafts with it. Okay guys, we will let that dry. <coughs> and also you want to paint those wooden spoons white also. I don't know where I'm going to stick that. Oh. Okay guys. We also paint all the wooden spoons white. Okay guys. I'll be back when everything is painted and dry. See you then. Okay guys, the frame is dry and the spoons are dry. Let's see this. Um, what we're gonna do is, I got some chalkboard black paint and we're gonna distress a little bit the spoons. What we're gonna do is uh, paint this a little bit. I just go on the edges and I'll just trace it a little bit. Don't have to be perfect. Good pain on my fingers. I to push my finger off. Just put on the edges a little bit. And if you mess up, you can always paint over it.
just here and there, little strokes. Yeah, I think I'm going to remove what I did here. I don't really like it. I like the when it's on the edges more. I can get over with um, with white chalk paint. You can see what I'm doing right here. Okay, now we try to made a mistake again. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, um, just paint back up. Okay. I hope I don't get it on the... Oh my goodness, what did I do over here? Oh, you're not going to see it anyway. But that's what I did. I hope you can see. I give it to a little bit distressed look. Okay, what we're going to do, I got my glue gun already on. Let me wash my hands before I get all the paint all over the place, okay? Okay. Um, now we're gonna reassemble the frame. It don't matter how it looks like in the back. Um, yeah, you have to be careful with Dollar Tree frames. They're breakable really easy. But that's what came up with. Looks pretty. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue glue them on. <clears throat> First we're gonna start with the middle. Where's the middle? Right here. I think. Yeah. And now I don't have a ruler. Gonna start with this. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay, now we're gonna go and wet this one. Yeah, just messed it up. But you always can paint over it if you mess it up. 
And then the third one is going to be over here. And I bought some chewed twine from the other tree. I always, every time I go there, I get some because I always use them. <clears throat> and we're going to make a... We're going to make a bow. Wrap it around your finger a couple times. Take another piece. Tie it in the middle. And cut the excess. Off. And we're going to make three of those. Take your three fingers. One. Two. Three. I don't even know how many times I went around. Whoops. Another piece of tied in the middle. Cut the excess off. Uh. One more. What's the last one? Don't want to cover, right? Okay, what we're gonna do is we glue them on each of the spoons. That is the craft. Where's my paintbrush? It's a white paint. I messed up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Strings hanging off. I love it. It's cute. And it didn't really cost me anything. I had everything at home. Maybe two dollars. 
with the paper to frame my phone in the trash. Just spoons I had already in my kitchen in the twine. I love it. Hi guys, yesterday I went to Dollar Tree and got me four of them small frames. What I wanted to do, um, make a box. Make a box where I can set a flower in. But first I want to paint them white. I didn't find no white frames over there, so let's take it, take them all apart and so I can start painting them. gonna take all the stuff off we don't need those Okay, I'm back. Uh, I got my Waverly chalk paint, the white, and I will paint them all. <clears throat> yeah. Okay guys, um, I will paint them all, let them dry, and I'll be back when they're ready to assemble, okay? Okay guys, uh, the frames are drying. I did like three coats of paint. Now we're gonna prepare the vase. It's gonna sit inside. And I found this at Ashland, I guess that was Kirkland's. And I can't believe it's 40 bucks. It's just plastic flowers. But uh, <clears throat> the bottom was missing. That's why they dumped it out or broken or something. Now we're not going to try to fit it in here. We have to cut some um, off. Maybe the corners a little bit. Ah, now I can't get it back up. Yep, 
Maybe you're gonna paint the base white too. I don't know yet. I will see. But we're gonna wait till the paint is dry. I will clean up really quick and I'll be right back. Okay guys, the frames are somewhat dry. I have to touch them up a little bit after. But we're gonna assemble them back. I don't have pictures, so I can't really put pictures in. I don't want to go back in it. Okay. Here I might put paper on the back. Okay guys, I put them all together, back together, and now what we're going to do is, I'm going to make a box. I'm going to attach some E6000 on some spots. And then some hot glue. <coughs> Same on over here. Is it stars on some spots? Yeah, but I have to touch it again. Oh man. Come on. Don't want a copper. Okay, guys, um, be right back. Okay, guys, I thought I was recording, but it didn't record. I cut a piece of styrofoam. I found it at a dumpster at Michael's. I found like six of them, boards. What we're gonna do is try to glue the frame. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> 
Now we're gonna sit the flower in here. We probably need some more, more of it. Have some stand up. Hold on, guys. I need something to put on the bottom. <clears throat> How about this? I don't know if it's too high. Okay, it's a little too high, so we're gonna cut it down a little bit. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes, and I probably glue it in there. Oh no, stay in there. And if you want to put some pictures in, all you do is take the flower out, put it sideways, undo the frame, put a picture in. So you can put like wedding pictures in here. Or kids pictures or any pictures. You can do bigger frames, smaller frames, um, color, whatever you want. But I think it turned out really cute. Thank you for watching. Bye.